Hey, I'm Joe with Revzilla, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Moto Tassinari V-Force 4 reed valve system available at Revzilla.com. Moto Tassinari got started in the mid 90s in New Hampshire. They only make reed valve systems for two stroke dirt bikes. So it really shows that all of their efforts go into the research and engineering and design and production of these devices for our two stroke dirt bikes. Now, when we talk about application, of course, we're talking about two strokes. These do not work with four strokes. So if you do have a four stroke, skip this video. Before I dive into the real nitty gritty details, what these devices do is gonna allow your bike to have a better improvement over the OEM reed valve system. When we improve the reed valve system, it makes the bike easier to tune, it makes it easier to start, um, and it, of course, will decrease the amount of times you have to change your reeds over time. When we talk about fitment, enter your bike into Revzilla's Bike Finder, and you'll be able to see all the different options available for your machine. Now, we have the V-Force 4 here. Um, which is the current model that's available for late model two-stroke dirt bikes. But the V-Force 3 model is still very relevant and available for a lot of two-stroke bikes back to even the mid 80s. So I know a lot of you folks out there that are still racking, you know, ITs and KDXs and RMXs and all those killer two-stroke enduro bikes. Um, the the V-Force 3 is still a really good upgrade um, over those factory reed valve systems. So we'll leave this up here. Both of these devices go for about 150 bucks for a set and replacement reeds are only about 55. So if you do find them for less elsewhere, Revzilla does offer a price match policy if you'd like to uh, work with us on that. Now, when we're gonna get into some of the details here, now, just as an example, I have a set of V-Force for our reed valves in my 250XCW. I have about 100 hours on them and they don't show any signs of wear. Now, Moto Tassinari does recommend replacing them about every 100 hours or every time you do a top end, but it's really nice to know that the reeds didn't start to delaminate and come apart and put any kind of uh, you know, carbon junk or anything inside my crankcase. Now, the big advantage to that over some of the older style reed systems you know, on some of those older bikes that have screws holding the, the reeds in is that those screws could, uh, could possibly come out and get knocked around your uh, crankshaft and your cylinder walls and really do a hell of a lot of damage. So the way these reeds work is that um, there's, there's no hardware holding them in as a really unique retaining system to keep the reeds in uh, the device itself, which is really neat. So as far as some of the technology that uh, the V-Force 4 reed valve system offers over the outgoing model, um, when we look at these two, now disregard the size difference, you know, this is for a Yamaha, this is for a KTM or Husky, uh, but the technology still applies uh, for both applications. Now you notice the major difference is that there's reed stops on the new version versus the old version. Now the reason for the reed stops is obviously, as the name implies, is to stop the reeds from opening too far. Now, this is a one-way valve system. You know, reeds inherently, their main job is to prevent fuel and air from going back out of the carburetor as that piston's coming down. So it's really important for these reeds to stay shut. And of course, uh, you don't want them to wear out and hang open at any, any given point. I did find that when I pulled the factory reeds out of my KTM, they were hanging open quite a bit. So it was giving me inconsistent starting procedures and uh, tuning, of course. To be able to preserve the, the life of the reeds by limiting how much they're opening and closing all the time um, is a really great option. Another thing to consider is that the V-Force 4R, uh, which is available for some models, has a rubberized landing area for the reeds to close up against, which again, preserves the reed life. So those are kind of some of the reed preservation uh, things that went into the design aspect of the V-Force 4R. And again, those replacement reeds are only 55 bucks, so not too bad when it comes time to replace them. As far as performance goes, the reed tip area has been increased by 10%. Now what that means is basically the same. If you're familiar with any kind of performance modifications that you would do to a four-stroke engine, like bigger valves, bigger cams, a wider area for the reed tip to allow airflow to pass through is, is essentially the same. Two-stroke and four-stroke engines, of course, we're burning fuel, uh, we're burning air. Uh, they're just air pumps. The more you can move air and fuel through these engines, the better performance you're going to get out of them. So having more reed tip area, of course, is really going to improve the performance of the bike. Now, when we take a look at the interior wing in here, um, compared to the three, you can see that this has been reduced quite a bit. So what that does is allows air and fuel to pass through with less turbulence and more efficiency uh, versus the outgoing model. But again, the three is a great option over some of those older stock bike uh, reed valve systems that are out there. 
As far as installation goes, you're probably looking at about 20 to 40 minutes. You know, it really depends on, on your bike in particular. Now my bike, uh, my KTM just requires me to loosen the subframe bolts on the bottom so I could swing the back end up, disconnect the airbox, remove the carburetor, and then I can get to the reed cage. Now, uh, your bike in particular may be a little bit different. I know some bikes require pulling the rear shock off. You know, so it really depends on your model. So be sure to refer to your service manual as far as the process goes, um, as far as removing and replacing the reed cage. Now, as far as tuning goes, man, it's plug and play. There's no rejetting required. Um, these also work really great for TPI bikes. If you have an injected bike, these are still a great improvement over the factory reed cage setup. I personally, again, have put 100 hours on this and I found a really vast improvement over the ease of starting of my bike and the tunability of the carburetor. But if you'd like to see what other riders have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. And if you have any questions about these or anything else you see on our website, give our gear geeks a shout at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for watching our video today about the Moto Tassinari V-Force 4 reed valve system. I'm Joe and I'll see you next time.